OK, I'm going to uh, derive the moment generating function for the Poisson distribution today. At least I'm going to try. OK, one note so I can write. Make that a bit bigger. Poisson distribution. Let's just remind ourselves what the Poisson distribution is. It's, um, well, I'll give you the density. e to the minus lambda. Oh, what is this? This is the probability that x equals n, let's say, equals e to the minus lambda, lambda to the n over n factorial, where lambda is strictly positive, I think. Yeah, it can't be zero, can it? Uh, that's the parameter. And n equal n, n equals zero, one, two, blah 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 is your random variable. Okay, so uh, well, we, we, that's quite familiar with that. So what we need is the expectation of e to the x t, and that's the moment generating function of t. So it equals the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the probability of n times e to the nt. That's it. So just write it out. E equals the sum of e to the minus lambda, lambda to the n over n factorial. That's that bit there, the probability. e to the, not e to the minus, e to the nt. All right. Sum. This is the sum over n equals 0 to infinity. So because it's the sum over n, this bit here, there's, there's, there's no n in that. It's just e to the minus lambda. That's just brought out. Let's write out everything else out. We've got lambda to the n, e to the n t over n factorial. And I'm going to write that again. e to the minus lambda, sigma of lambda e to the t to the power n over n factorial. And this thing here, that thing there, is just the exponential series. That's just e to the power whatever's in that bracket, which is lambda e to the t. So we can just write that out dead easy. Uh, oh no. No, I want that. Just a minute. Large eraser, no, this one. Right. So I'll just write it out again. We've got the e to the minus lambda at the beginning. And what's this? That's e to the power, whatever's in the brackets. Lambda e to the t. All right. Oh, it's a bit complicated, but here it is. So it's e to the minus lambda plus lambda e to the t. How do I get that? That's because e to the a plus b is e to the a e to the b. So I'm, I guess I'm going that way because I'm taking a product of two exponentials and I'm uh, adding the, the exponent there. e to the lambda e to the t minus 1. Well, there it is. And that's the moment generating function of t for the Poisson distribution. So it's still got a lambda in it. So we can work out what the expectation of x is, where x is distributed according to Poisson. Well, we've just got to differentiate that, m of t, and evaluate at t equals 0. All right, so we've just got to, we've got to evaluate, we've got to differentiate this thing. Well, it's lambda e to the t min minus 1. That shouldn't be there. e to the lambda e to the t minus 1. You just write that down. Evaluate it at t equals 0. Right, so what have I got? I've got lambda times 0. What's going on here? What have I done wrong here? Hmm. Ah, it's because I've differentiated it wrong. Thought I was being so clever there. Let's just do that again. We've got e to the lambda e to the t minus one. 
So I need to differentiate this whole thing here, which comes out to be lambda e to the t, because of course when you differentiate the 1 it turns to nothing. Then it's times e to the lambda e to the t minus 1. And we evaluate this thing at t equals 0. See, I can make mistakes, but I can... Oops. I can make... Everybody makes mistakes. But what I can do is catch them. I can catch them before they get serious. I knew that was wrong. How did I... Oh, for goodness sake. Just a minute. How did I know it was wrong? Can't find it now. Getting close. That was an undergraduate. Maybe it's this one. I've lost it now. No, this one. This one? No. Ah, Poisson, that looks good, doesn't it? Nope. I've lost it completely, haven't I? Where is it? Still with this software, it's so clever. Ah, here it is, here it is. New section 5. Oh, right, so here it is. Evaluate at t equals zero. So let's have a look. Yeah, what was I saying? I managed to catch it. I knew it was wrong because when I tried to evaluate at t equals zero, we've got a zero in there, and I know the expectation isn't zero, so I know something's wrong. So I just need to look and find out what the problem is. So it's lambda, remember e to the zero equals one, right? So it's lambda e to the power lambda times zero, which is lambda times e to the zero, which equals lambda. QED. We know that. Let's just see if we can figure out the second derivative, huh? Lambda e to the t. We've got the first derivative here. We've got the first derivative here. So what I can do is differentiate it again. Right. Sorry about that. OK, so we're going to differentiate this again. So uv dash equals u dash v plus uv dash. And I'll use red here. This one is going to be u, and this one here is going to be v. All right. So it's lambda times u dash v. Well, differentiate e to the t, you get e to the t again. e to the lambda e to the t minus 1 plus u dash, which is e to the t again, oh no, that's u, times v dash. So we've got to differenti differentiate just thing here, this th just, just v here. So what's that? That's lambda e to the t, e to the lambda e to the t minus 1. And we're going to uh, close brackets. We're going to evaluate at t equals 0. So we know that... Ooh, so we know that e uh, we know that e to the zero equals one. So what have we got? We've got lambda times e to the oh, that's just one, isn't it? Because look, it's e to the lambda times zero, which is just one, plus lambda. That's it. So it's lambda one plus lambda. All right, and that's equal to the expectation of x squared, where x is distributed as a Poisson with mean lambda. So what does that tell us? That tell us tells us, well, we can work out the variance now. The variance of x, remember, equals the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x all squared. So that's lambda 1 plus lambda minus lambda, which is the expectation, squared. Well, that's just lambda, isn't it? So the variance of a Poisson distribution with mean, lam with, uh, mean lambda equals lambda. Well, that's nice. Uh, I'll just show you... Actually, I can't. I'll show you on the next screencast. Um, I'll show you how to verify that numerically.